Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to look at creating a simple note appear system. So what we're going to do is put a note on this kind of desk that I've created here, this just elongated cube with a material on it. And I'm going to put a note on here and when I go up to look at that note it will trigger and put the note up in my UI screen on my first person controller. So this is a really, really simple scene. I've just got a floor or plane, which I've called floor. And as I said, a desk, which I've put a brown material on just to make it look like a desk. So um, if you want to create a simple note system, the first thing we need is our note in the, um, um, in the system. So what we need to do is go to game object and we're going to add another plane. Cool, as you can see, that's gone really big. That's absolutely fine though. What we can do is just grab this rec tool and size this down. Cool, lovely. What we're gonna do, move this over to here, push this up a bit. And again, I'm just gonna double click to zoom in <clears throat> and use the rec tool to kind of get it the shape I want. Actually, I might go for a horizontal kind of shape. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna lower this down so it doesn't sink just before it sinks into the floor. Fantastic. So, um, and what I'm gonna do is, cause I've already got a, a texture sorted out for this. I'm gonna name this Telegram because it's a Telegram I want to pop up. Cool, so once I've done that, what I'm gonna do is if I go into my files, I've sorted out previously, organized a file so if I click on here, and as you can see, I've got a telegram, telegram PNG. This is just something I picked up from Google, and then I photoshopped out the background to create as a PNG file, which is absolutely fantastic. Cool, so what I'm gonna do is um, actually probably before that, create another folder and just call this textures. So everything's nice and organized. Double click into there, and I'll add my telegram texture. Awesome, so what I'm then going to do once I've got this is a material needs to go on to my plane. So I need to go into my materials. I'm gonna create a new material. And I'm gonna call this uh, just Telegram again. Cool. This time I'm gonna make sure I add in textures. Oh, don't wanna lose that. And uh, do, 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 do. let's have a look. Telegram textures. There we go. And I'm going to put my telegram on my abido. And as you can see, that's wrapped around there. So if I double click onto my telegram kind of shape here, I might again, I might just change the shape of that to make it look more paper shaped. That's looking good. Um, I'm then going to go into my materials have a look at this and drag my material onto there. And as you can see, that fits quite nice. As you can see, there's, you know, there's some edges we need to sort out there. Um, we can sort that out later. So we can up the size or anything like that, but we can also change the smoothness. I'm just gonna put the smoothness all the way down, change this to an albedo alpha, and then again, make that nice and bright so it can be seen by our player. Great, fantastic. So once we've got our telegram here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the, the trigger alarm for it. So I'm going to go add component, add a box collider. And at the moment you can see that the box collider hasn't really done much. So I'm just going to change the size here. There we go. Change the X values to stretch out a little bit more. And finally, I'm going to use my edit box collider just to grab this point so I can, my character will definitely walk into this collider there. So I might just push it out just a little bit more, just like that, ensuring that my player will interact with um, the box collider. Awesome, fantastic. So once we've done that, we need to start thinking about the UI that's gonna pop up once we trigger this telegram off. So what I need to do is right click, go to UI, and add an image. And again, I'm gonna rename this image really quickly to Telegram UI. Awesome. 
So here we can see that um, we can add an image or a source image in. But if I go to my textures and drag across, look, if I can't fit, it just won't jump in, look, it just pops back out. So what we need to do is convert this file. So if I click on Telegram and scroll up to the top here in my inspector settings, I can see something called texture type. And at the moment it's a default. What I'm gonna do is change this to Sprite 2D and UI. So I know this will work um, with um, be attached onto my UI. So if I click that, scroll down, and I'm just going to click apply. Lovely. And as you can see, I've now got my checkered background on this, and this creates the the PNG the PNG look. So it hasn't got a white background on it, which creates a more kind of realistic look. So what I'm going to do is go to Telegram UI, and now drag this over to Telegram. As you can see, it's popped up on our UI straight away. Um, if we have a look at our sizing, so width is an and height or 100. Let's change this to 300 in our width and maybe 375 or maybe a little bit stretched there. Let's try 350. 325. Yeah, that looks quite nice. That's kind of an appropriate size for our telegram there. So that's all good we've got that working so um just make sure i'm just going to quickly press play and make sure this is stuck in the center lovely great that's exactly what i want so once we've figured that out what we're going to do is ensure that our player is tagged as player this first person um controller uh, that i've downloaded the all-in-one from unity asset store already has the player as tagged as player. So that's absolutely perfectly fine. So once we've done that, we're going to create a new folder. We're going to call this scripts. And we're going to create a brand new C-sharp script. And we're going to call this note appear. Lovely. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to open this up in Visual Studio. Lovely, so there it is. So the first thing we need to do is we need to call up the function for using our UI. So we need to say using Unity Engine dot UI and semicolon. We then need to uh, say what we're going to, when we're going to enable our UI to pop up in front of our screen so we can read our notes. So we're going to say private image and we can call this um, underscore note image. Oh, I might just make that lowercase so I don't get confused. There we go, lowercase note image. And because I made it private, I'm just going to serialize this field as well so we can see it within our inspector. So we start an update. We don't actually need to start an update for this simple little script. We're just going to get rid of those. And the first thing we need to say is um, what happens if our character, uh, our player, walks into our trigger. So on trigger enter. So we're going to say void on trigger enter. So this is put private. What I'm going to do is get rid of that private. So it is just an open. Um, trigger that should be absolutely fine and then I'm going to say if other dot compare tag is our player we've just made sure that our player is our FPS controller is tagged as player we are going to say underscore no image dot enabled equals true so if we walk into our trigger so on trigger enter into that collider, our script is going to check if we're called player, and if we are, the note will enable as true, so it should pop up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is what happens if we walk out of that trigger? We don't want that note still stuck there um, in, in, pre, in, uh, in our view. So we're gonna say void on trigger exit. And again, I'm just gonna get rid of the private And I'm just going to write just exactly the same if other 
dot uh, so compare tag again making sure player or we can say note image enabled equals false this time lovely okay so what we're going to do let's make sure that looks okay yep I'm happy with that let's save this script control s or command s on Mac so what we're going to make sure is that our telegram has that collider onto it as we can see here oh I've just seen on the box collider what we're going to make sure is is trigger is checked obviously otherwise our trigger in our script won't work we're then going to make sure note appear pops in there then on note appear we can see note image no image so we, what we need to do is add that telegram UI so there that is so we're going to grab that telegram UI add that to it fantastic and then what we're going to do is one last thing is we're going to go down to the image on our telegram and just disable that for now and what we're going to do when once we walk into that trigger we'll be able to see a tick pop up here for it being enabled so if we press play as you can see yep good movement so what I'm gonna do just walk up to my trigger there we go and there's my note popping up so if I walk backwards out of that trigger I can't see anything so if I want to read that note bang there we go so obviously if you're creating a walking sign narrative you're going to want to make sure that's kind of uh, almost like a clue or readable again it looks really nice with the PNG image uh, without that kind of white background so cool I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and uh, I'll see you very very soon